last time, we were wondering how the Squirks could tell the 12 chimes of noon from the 12 chimes of midnight. Well, I suppose you would say that at midnight it's generally dark outside. Yes, but whether it was noon or midnight, most of the time the Squirks were just lying in cupboards and drawers. Apart from that, and being able to count up to one, the Squirks were actually not very clever. Counting the 12 chimes of the clock wasn't an easy job for them. First of all, they had a squirk ear that listened, and when the clock struck one, it squirked. That is, it counted one. Unfortunately, since it couldn't count any further, when the clock struck two, it de-squirked. It went back to zero. Squirk, de-squirk, squirk, de-squirk, <laughs> and so on. Which means that all by itself, whether the clock struck twice or six times, it was all the same to it. The Squirks weren't very clever, but they weren't entirely stupid. Because when the first Squirk went back to zero, it jabbed its neighbor, who squirked and went to one. So between two of them, they could count from zero to three. Except that in Squirk language, three was written with two ones. This was binary counting, remember? When the second squirk went back to zero, it did the same thing. It jabbed the third squirk. And the three of them could count from zero to seven, except that they wrote seven with three ones in squirk language. And when four of them got together, they could count from zero to 15. But that wasn't worth much, since the clocks at the time could only count up to 12, which looks like this in binary language. The squirks didn't camp out under the clock, though. Oh, no, they'd installed special squirk wires that Mac 2's broom couldn't get to. At the other end were squirk flashers, in charge of alerting the others. This is how they worked. First, there was a squirk called a decoder, specially trained to recognize 12 in binary writing. The counter squirks handed him the squirk wires, and as soon as he recognized 12 in binary, he squirked. The squirk flashes lit up, and all the squirks ran into the dining room. And before Mac 1 and Mac 2 had time to swallow more than a mouthful, it was all gone. You know, all this is very interesting, but it still doesn't explain how the squirks could tell the 12 chimes of noon from the 12 chimes of midnight. Well, you'll just have to wait until next time to find out.